getting the law of God and God had thundered in the mountain and there was smoke and lightning and yes. a piece of the rock fly yes. off and one of those pieces flew off and the finger of God reached out yes. and wrote the law yes. in that shrapnel uh, of a stone. Uh, that's how God did it. God didn't come down and come to the wall like an artist and sketch out thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie. No, the power of God was shaking that mountain. That's it. And, and, and the Bible said our God, Hebrews the 13th chapter, is a consuming fire. Uh, and when that, when that uh, mountain was shaking and great big chunks of that mountain was coming loose, one of those flew off. And God stilled it in space, stopped it right there. Fiery words came on it, Come on. burning it. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Right. Uh, thou thou shalt not uh, break uh, covenant. Thou shalt not break the Sabbath. Thou shalt keep the Sabbath. And suddenly Moses looked at it, and then God gently let that piece of stone down right at Moses' feet. And Moses had the law, the Decalogue, uh, the law uh, with the commandments, and, and when he came down from the mountain, uh, uh, here was these children of Israel that should have been fasting, should have been praying, but they were so carnal, they were so evil, uh, they were so misled, they were so frivolous. Yes. Did you know the church can be that way? Yes. Did you know you can be that way? Uh, I, I want you to really get what I'm saying. Brother Marlon, did you know you can be like, do you know I, I can be that way? Uh, because a human being is capable of any mischief or any sin there is unless God stops them. God don't ever. Unless God arrests them. That's right. Unless God keeps them. They are capable of pouting. They're capable of sullying. They're capable of being angry. Yes. They're capable of being hostile. Yes. They're capable of being a little child. Yes. They're capable of being uh, upset. They're capable of being uh, perturbed, oh, disturbed. God. They're capable of lying. They're capable of stealing. They're capable of exaggerating. They're capable of gossiping. Uh, any any uh, person is capable of that. I am, and you are. Yes. You're capable of saying, well, if I didn't have things my way, I guess I just won't play. And you'll go home, and you'll pout, and you'll sell, and, and uh, like a possum or an animal. Yes. Uh, uh, but, but look. God doesn't want you that way. No. God's wanting you to change. Yes. Me to change. change. God wants me to be a new creation, a new creature in Christ. God wants me to grow up, be able to take things and, and uh, look at things and say, yesterday I was a child and I would have acted like a child, but today I'm not a child. That's, right. uh, that, that's what Paul said in 1 Corinthians the 13th chapter. Uh, Paul said, uh, uh, I, 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 I speak as a child, I thought as a child, I understood as a child, but now, is there a now somewhere in your experience? Is there a now somewhere in your Christian life? Is there a now? Um, I'd like to tell this bouncing, charismatic world with their strobe lights and their uh, uh, their thunder of the drums and their, their beat of their music and, and their uh, charismatic appeal and their smoke screens and their uh, all the stuff they do uh, to attract hordes of people right now. Uh, uh, you know the Donald Trumps of religion, and uh, I, I, I'd like to I'd like to say to them, uh, why don't you settle down, and why don't you uh, have a now in your life? Why don't you become a now Christian? Uh, yesterday I was a child. Uh, yesterday I spoke as a child. Yesterday I thought as a child. But now, I'd like to see a now in the church. I'd like to put a now in the church right now. Is now the day of salvation? Yes, it is. Is now the time yes. for the ministry to come forth yes. and to speak plainly? Uh, seeing this hope, we have, uh, uh, we speak with, uh, uh, plainly. And uh, seeing we have this hope, we use plainness of speak. Is there a now? Is there a now for God to do something in the church? Is there a now for the Holy Ghost to fall? Is there a now for the church to be 
recovered? Is there a now for the church to be converted? Is there a now for me to go back to my first love? Is there a now for me to get past you and you and you and you and you and you and go back to my first love? Is, it, is, is, is today the day of salvation? Oh yes. oh, yes, it is. Praise God. It is. I'll proclaim it. If I'm a single man standing for a single cause, I'll say it today is the day of salvation. It is not the day for play. Now go back to Exodus. Uh, I want to show you that example there. And when Moses came down uh, from the mountain, and I'm, uh, I have three areas I'm covering tonight. I'm, I'm going to give you uh, the three uh, places in the scriptures I'm going, uh, I'm, 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 I'm ministering on covenant. Ex uh, Genesis, the 12th chapter, Abraham, Abraham, the covenant. And then I'm going from there uh, to Isaiah, the 30th chapter, uh, the covering. From the covenant to the covering. And then I'm going from Isaiah uh, 30, uh, I'm going to Matthew 26. Uh, to the uh, consecration. I'm going from the covenant to the covering to the consecration. Yes. In these three phases, every child of God pleases God and is saved. And in these three phases, the New Testament church will be established. And in these three, these three phases, there will be a great eldership in that church. In these, in these three phases, there will be a restoring of the early church and the latter reign. In these three phases, there will be a preparation of the people to understand the book of Revelation, the end time prophecy of the Bible, uh, and, and the coming of Jesus and the gathering of his church again. Uh, in, in these three phases, covenant, uh, a covering, and consecration. And here in, in uh, now, do you have your Bible? Do you read your Bible? Do you bring your Bible to church? Uh, do you bring your Bible to church? Why don't you? Uh, why don't you bring a notebook? Why don't you bring a recorder? Why don't you bring something to remember? Because you can't remember everything I'm going to say. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, I, 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 I say, Brother Marlowe, I remember everything you say. All right. Praise God for your memory. Uh, it is wonderful. Uh, but, uh, but let me say this right now. Uh, uh, every word you can get right now that is anointed of God will put you behind the veil and draw you near heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. I have no time for foolish preachers with foolish jokes with our politicians likewise. I have no time for foolish people that want to tell me how the church should be, but they themselves will not lift one finger to help bring it about. Don't sing your song to me if you, if you can't lift the church. If you can't love the church and consecrate yourself to the church, then don't, don't give me a sermon and don't, uh, don't, don't give me something I, I need to uh, hear and go by. If you yourself are not that uh, person that's lifting the church, lifting the cause of Christ, I'll listen to you then. I'll hear you what you have to say. Uh, but I have no time, I'm, I'm too far, I'm 82 years of age, time uh, it, it will run out for me uh, somewhere before I get to listen to all, all the foolish people of the world. Uh, I, I, have to, I have to live to listen to weighty words. How, uh, don't you want to listen to weighty words? Don't you want to listen to words that mean something? Uh, don't you want to listen to words that's not a bunch of religious Google Doc and a, a bunch of stuff? from the charismatic world and they poured it out of some commentary and rewrote it and, and books that are written out of commentaries that they just change the words and, and they're guilty of plagiarism. Uh, if you know many books on the market right now are guilty of plagiarism uh, and they just don't catch them all, uh, copy another author, they didn't write that book. They, they don't have the inspiration to be an author of a book. Uh, but they just borrow phrases. They borrow uh, things out of, uh, put it together, and, and some of it becomes a bestseller. Uh, but I don't want that. I want reality right now. I want to know my God in the resurrection and in the, uh, in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. So they came down uh, from that mountain, 
And and Moses looked around. All right, now verse, uh, he's got verse um, uh, one on there, but um, uh, all right, go down to where they sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. Uh, that's in the New Testament as well. Paul put it that, but uh, is it there? Verse 6. Uh, all right, yeah, what verse? Verse 6. Verse 6. Put verse 6 on. All right, and they rose up early. Would you say they rose up early? They rose up early. Uh, and they, they rose up early rose up on the morrow and offered yeah. burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down, and the people sat down to eat and to drink, but they rose up to play. And when they rose up to play, they built the golden calf. Yes. They made the calf the bull of God of sexism in Egypt, of fertility. Uh, and and uh, Aaron had the audacity to lie to Moses. Uh, I guess when you get under pressure, uh, be careful that you don't get under pressure to lie to somebody. Be, be careful uh, that somebody doesn't put you in enough pressure that you'll lie uh, just to please them, uh, just to get by uh, them and not have their disfavor. Uh, uh, but but uh, that's going on in the world right now. Uh, politicians are practicing it. Uh, people are practicing it. Corporations are practicing it. Uh, the world is practicing it. Uh, be careful that you don't go along with the crowd. Uh, and, and Aaron had the audacity uh, to look at Moses, and he said, we just put these things in the fire, uh, uh, the things we borrowed from the Egyptians. Uh, we just put them in the fire, Moses, and they came out, this beautiful golden the cat, the exact image of the God of fertility of Egypt. Hot wash, that was absolutely uh, the biggest lie uh, a man could ever tell. And, and Aaron suffered from that lie. Yes. And we'll suffer from a lie. If we tell a lie, we'll have to tell another to cover that one up. And then another one to cover that one up. Uh, but, but once you start lying, then you just keep lying. Uh, because you got to cover up the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. But when you don't tell the first one, you never have to cover up the second one. Uh, but but uh, here, they rose up to eat, and uh, they sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. Now, I'll go, go to Genesis 12 on uh, the word uh, covenant. Uh, I, see, there must be a covenant established again in our assemblies. There must be a covenant established in our church. We will never build, we will never restore, we will never see it come to pass. The early church, as it was in its pristine glory 2,000 years ago, unless the people make a covenant with their minister. And the minister makes a covenant with them. Uh, every one of Abraham's household had to make a covenant with Abraham. Yes, sir. As Abraham made a covenant with God. And God made a covenant with Abraham. Uh, I, I, every, every, every person, every sheep has to make a covenant in the, in the church with, with the leadership that they will be faithful, that they will live godly, that they will seek holiness that they will seek all the teaching of the scriptures. Every bit of the, whatever this book teaches, I must live it. Whatever this book teaches, I must walk in it. Uh, I said everything this book covers must be in my life. Praise the name of the Lord. I uh, see everything that the scriptures tell me to do, I must do. So it must become a covenant. And, and one of those, uh, some of those scriptures tells you to be faithful to leadership that God has placed over you in the ministry of Christ, then uh, some, of the, uh, some of the scriptures tell you uh, what to put on your body, what, not to, uh, what to take off your body, what to put in your body, what not to put in your body. Uh, some of those scriptures uh, deals with your lips, some deals with your motivation, your heart, your mind, your spirit. Uh, some of those scriptures deals uh, with your character, characteristics. So uh, every one, uh, uh, every bit of the covenant of God that's in the scriptures, it must bring the church back to covenant relationship because uh, Abraham's covenant was established with Abraham, but every Israelite on that day broke the covenant that God established with Abraham. Every one of them. And they were judged. And they died yes. by the thousands. 
because they broke the covenant. Uh, I'm praying that God will let judgment come back to the church again, uh, where judgment will bring righteousness, and where if I sin, judgment will follow. And then judgment uh, will uh, point out that I am not keeping the covenant with God or with his word or with the leadership or with the characteristics of, of the church. Uh, otherwise, the rest of our days, we're going to have uh, a church that is flim-flam. Yes. That's what the charismatic world is. That's what Babylon is. It's flim-flam. Uh, it, that, that's what it is. Uh, that's awfully plain, Brother Marlowe. Well, I can get plainer, and I can do it by the scriptures. Yes. Uh, uh, it's flim-flam. Uh, it, it doesn't have the now in it. Uh, now is the day of the covenant. Now is the day of salvation. But it's a take it if you want to. Uh, see, look, they have so many thousands going in to religious churches right now until if a hundred suddenly drops out of that church. What's a hundred to five hundred? What's a hundred? I had a preacher tell me, if I lose 200 people, it, it, it won't even make a dent in my congregation. A uh, charismatic preacher told me, he said, if I lose 200 and they uh, walk out and leave me, he said, it won't even make a dent. He said, we'll get a program started and bring 200 more back. Uh, uh, because, see, that, that it, it's a, it's a flim-flam world sure. that we live in. It's, it, it pay the price oh. and get in it. Uh, uh, so, uh, here, Abraham... Uh, was not dealing with a flim-flam God. Uh, and and, 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 and in uh, Genesis, that is, uh, Genesis 12. I'm, oh, let me turn now. I thought it was there. Uh, I want to just be there a moment. And, and uh, I, uh, there was a covenant established. Uh, I, 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 I want to know, I want to know tonight, how many know what a covenant is? What is a covenant? Is a covenant just a promise? Is a covenant just a, a, a testimony that I will? Is a covenant an emotional moment you have, and in an emotional moment you say, I love you, God? You know, some, some, that's why some uh, people in, in life, they have a problem uh, with, with relationship, uh, with, with uh, companionship, and, 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 and with business, and with home, and with family, uh, and, and they have it them in, in the church. Because they won't make a covenant. They'll, they'll make a statement, oh, I love you, Lord. Uh, that's not a covenant. That's not a covenant. Uh, oh, oh, I'll serve you, Lord. That's not a covenant. Uh, a covenant is an unbreakable agreement made between you and another party that you will not break. Yes. Whether it's in marriage, whether it's in business, whether it's in the church, you will not break that covenant. You will not break that covenant in leadership, in following leadership, in being behind leadership, in walking with leadership. You will not break that covenant. You will not break it. Now, if you ever made that, you didn't make a covenant. If you ever made that and kept it, you never had a covenant with God. You had an emotional moment wherein you were stirred to make a promise or promises but you never made a covenant if you made a covenant with this truth of this church you will never leave this church and you will never leave uh, this truth if you made a covenant to follow this leadership you will never leave this leadership if you made a covenant to follow God you will never leave God if you made a covenant to follow Christ, you will never leave Christ because it is unbreakable. It is binding. It's a seal. Uh, it, it, it's, it's between you and God and, and man. You make it, it's a triune covenant. When you become a Christian, you make a covenant um, with truth. I didn't say make a covenant just with a church, any church or any religion or any preacher. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you get a divine revelation yes. and you make a covenant with the Holy Ghost. Amen. When you know you've got the Holy Ghost, you make a covenant with it that you will not backslide. You will not defame the Holy Ghost. You will not swear the Holy Ghost. You will not put blots on the Holy Ghost. Make a covenant. 
Amen. Now, if you make a covenant, you won't break that covenant. Amen. I don't care what pressure's on you. Right. You won't break that covenant. Right. Uh, if, if you make a covenant then with revelation of leadership in the church of Jesus Christ, and you know that they are true men of God, that they are called of God, and you make a covenant, and you've got a revelation, you will never break that. You won't break that. And then, if you may, if you see that God brought you to the proper church and brought you in to the church that is striving to be the church of Jesus Christ, not by words, but by deeds. Yes. Yes. Not by deeds. You can see the Holy Ghost is there. You can see the power of God. You can feel a witness in your heart. You can see that the men of God are sincere. And God reveals that to you, and you make a covenant you will never break that covenant. Abraham had a covenant made between him and God, and that covenant today is still the Abrahamic covenant today. contained now in the New Testament as it was made in the Old. Yes. Now God has transferred the Abrahamic covenant into grace, and grace now, yes. the covenant that I'm under, carries the covenant of Abraham, yes. which is by faith. Praise God. Amen. Are you getting this lesson? Amen. See, see there's, there's actually two covenants that I'm covered under and I'm existing under, but one of them is the covenant of Christ. But in the covenant of Christ, uh, I am also I am also covered in the covenant of Abraham because the covenant of Abraham was of faith and by faith. And I'm justified by faith. Yes. Did you know you're not saved? You're not justified by faith? You can't justify yourself. God has to justify yes. me. Yes. I'm glad tonight I feel clear in my conscience yes. that God yes. is justifying my experience with him. On, Praise the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. Give him glory right now. For that. Yes. Praise our God. Yes. Praise our God. Yes. Praise our God. Yes. How many, how many, let me get you on the same page I'm on as much as possible. How many know in your intellect, in your reasoning, in your understanding as Christians that the church must emerge from the shroud of the 21st century yes. of misunderstanding yes. and confusion and darkness that it's in? How many know it must rise up? I said, is that all? Is that all? No more, no more, no more response than that? See, no, 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 I don't hear you, huh? I don't hear you, Christopher. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of you know? I ask a question. I'm, I'm asking for a response. How many know that the church must arise from the shroud of the 21st century confusion and darkness that it's in? It must rise up and go higher. It must have a resurrection. It must have an infilling. It must have a stirring. It must have a revival. It must have a Holy Ghost move in it. It must have a heart changing, life changing experience that will change the very foundation of the church itself. Praise the name of the Lord in our hearts and our minds. Well, thank you for responding. You that did. Uh, 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 you that did thank him, praise our God. See, I, I, see, it isn't wrong to respond in a church. It's not wrong to get enthused in a church. 